Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we will be showing you how to install Firefly 3, which is actually a budget kind of management system um, to kind of help keep track of how much you spend, how much you're making, and kind of help you budget a little bit on your expenses so that you're not spending too much, um, especially in this type of economy. So. Um, this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content, want to sponsor me, or send me some free swag, let me know. My email's in the description below. So, all right, let's get started, guys. Okay, so first thing we'll do is log into our server here. Uh, I think it's 46. Yes, yes it is. Okay, and then we will install Docker. Config manager, add repo, HTTPS, download, docker.com, Linux, sent to us, docker, ce.repo. And then yum, why install docker ce. And then we will also update DNS while docker is being installed on the box. So here we go. We'll make sure we update the serial number and um, Firefly, I, I would put a uh, three in here, but I'm just going to name it fi Fire, Firefly, oh my god, this, <laughs> all right, and a, one, all right, let's submit that, add a Firefly, all right, so that is good, um, Firefly 3 actually has a Docker install. Um, so we're gonna go through that documentation here um, with the Docker stuff. So there's a Docker Compose file, so we'll grab that. Um, and then there is the .env file and the .dbenv. So those are the three things that we will need to grab from this page. Um, Docker is still installing, and no worries. Awesome, just finished. Um, we will enable Docker and start docker um, and then we will get docker compose from the linux repo i'm just gonna copy and paste that link and then we will make sure that the binary that we download is executable so um what we'll do here is create the docker compose file docker compose yaml and what we'll do is copy everything in this and paste it in there. So um, as you can see, there's a few things that we will need to update. So there's this replace me right here. So we'll need to replace that, um, but we won't worry about that right now. We're just going to just leave it as is because we'll need to generate that. Um, then we will create the .env. We'll copy this and we will paste this in here. Awesome. And then we will update a few things. So in this case, we're going to update the, the app URL firefly.dragon.local. Um, and then we'll scroll up. Um, most of the things you can keep as default. There'll be a few things that you'll need to update. So we'll scroll through this. Um, this is the static cron token. So this is what the replace me was. So we want to actually update this. So um, set this token to any 32 character value. This is important. So um, what we'll do is go to our vault warden. Um, dragon, dragon .local and just generate a 32 character string. Uh, 32, generate, and there we go. So we'll copy this and paste that here. So that's 32 characters, so that should be good. And then let's see if there's anything else that we need to update here. Boop, boop. We're not gonna do anything mail related. Cookie stuff looks good. We're not gonna switch any of the passwords, um, but if you were, if you were to actually update this, you would probably want to update this password where it says DB password, fi <laughs> secret Firefly password. You want to probably change that on yours. I'm just going to leave it as default, but you want, you, you definitely want to change it. Um, let's see what else there is. Um, time zone. I'm in America, Chicago time zone. America, Chicago. So we're going to update that. Um, and then app encryption key. Um, so another 32 character thing. Um, in this case, I should probably get a different 32 character. You probably don't want the <laughs> them to be both the same. Um, so we'll copy that. Um, and I think that should be it. So we will save that. Um, so we'll cut this back and grab cron. 
Um, so we can grab this key here and update this in the Docker Compose file where it says replace me and we will replace that with the variable. Insert and paste. Okay. So now that that's good, um, last thing we we'll need to do is create this file, the db.env, I think is what it was. Um, let's see, db.env. So we'll vi.db.env and paste this. So if you did update your MySQL password from the secret Firefly password, you would want to update it so that it's updated in this too, so that this file, MySQL password matches the MySQL password in the other file. Um, but because I didn't change it, I can leave it as is. All right, so from there, all the environment variables should be sent now. So we should be able to do a Docker compose up and we'll detach this. So it'll pull the app down, it'll pull the database down. It'll do the cron stuff for whatever cron things there are in the back end. Um, and then essentially once this is done, uh, we can look at the doc, con, uh, doc file here. Um, it, the container will run on 8080, um, but essentially if we hit 80 on the machine, it should direct us to the container. So um, you could obviously set up HTTPS if you wanted to on this. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna give you the, you know, toned down version of this is how you just get it to work. So, but they also have two volumes for upload and DB for um, probably anything that you upload. And then obviously the DB for all the information that you input. Um, and yeah, so now we see that it has all been started. Um, the system's starting up, been 20, 28 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, we should hopefully um, firefly dragon.local should get a login prompt. Awesome. So it, it is now up. So now we can create an email address, uh, register an account, dragon.local. Uh, and then we need a password. So I'm actually going to just do a 16 character password in this case, because um, that's actually a requirement. I created my, my default password that I would usually use is actually less than 16 characters. So uh, I needed to generate a 16 character password minimum, 16 character minimum password. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. So we will actually add a new item. So I'm just going to name this uh, Firefly um, and then dragon at dragon.local. And then we will paste that password that uh, we generated there. So we'll create this. Oh, it's because I need to refresh. Give a second. There we go. And then Firefly, dragon at dragon.local. This is why password managers are good so that you can actually <laughs> use them. Dragon.local. All right, so we can save that. We can use that as a password prompt and password prompt. And then we can register. So after you register, you essentially get, you know, your default page here. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do. So we'll just do the getting started. We won't go through all of it. Um, we might create a separate on how to do it, but you've essentially installed Firefly. But we'll name bank one here. Um, our balance, you can see that there's multiple different balances that we can do. We're going to do US dollar. Let's just say we have 10K in our bank. Um, and nothing in our savings. Now, you should probably have some money in your savings, but in this case, for a demo process, we will have nothing in our savings. So this is kind of what you get um, when you first install it. Um, I haven't explored this as much yet. This was a, a find that I found just recently, so um, I don't know the ins and outs of this, but um, essentially, you can create your own budgets, you can add your bills, you can add transitions for transactions, not transitions, transactions uh, for expenses, or when you get, you know, your income revenue from, you know, your paychecks and stuff like that. So there seems to be a lot of options that you can do. So, I mean, from, from the quick glance and the few things that I have done with this, it looks pretty good in regards to kind of helping you figure out, hey, how much are you spending in places and how you can budget um, and you can create a budget, figure out how you want to do things, set a, set an amount and whatnot, and then get kind of a brief overview of, your budget and are you meaning it or are you spending too much um, or if you're not spending enough where you can use that money and put it into savings or like CDs or other investments um, by all means this is not um, financial advice video at all um, but 
that's kind of up to you how you want to do your money, but it's a good place to kind of take a look and see where you kind of stand with your money. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.